And we have our first match between Kirby and Link. It's very unfair for Kirby to have more stocks than Link. Very beginning of the match, Kirby has the opening to attack, and yet he sits there trying to suck on Link like an idiot. Although Kirby has a height of 8 inches tall, they both seem to have an IQ of about 8. Very impressive for a pink amoeba, not so impressive for a 17 year old man. And Link just sits there tolerating this abuse and does nothing! Oh, and then he pulls his bomb and allegedly does something. Link makes his first offensive attack in the entire match, and he fumbles it by blowing them both up. Kirby just punches him off the ledge, and Link just takes it like a little bitch. I'm questioning whether he has an IQ of 8, or if it's even lower. Match number 2, and it's Kirby versus these Mario horse freaks. 18 of them, to be precise. Aren't those the things that Mario punches in Super Mario World? Precisely, so therefore Kirby needs to get a chance to do this too. Kirby proceeds to attack the first Yoshi, and oh my god, they're dropping like flies. You heard it here first, folks. We are witnessing a genocide in real time. Oh, f I used the word genocide in the video. I swear if YouTube thinks this is some damn political video. Endorsing Gaza or some sh**. Kirby eats a Yoshi! I repeat, Kirby eats a Yoshi! And somehow this freakish crossbreed ended up laying hands on a firearm. Absolutely stunning. While Kirby stares into our souls as if he never did anything wrong, which, let's be honest, anything that cute has never done anything wrong, mm -hmm. we move on to the next match. Match number three between Kirby and someone whose name totally doesn't sound like Marty McFly. Oh my, McCloud? A formidable opponent? This is shocking! Cloud is now officially the first opponent to ever actually fight back. No, wait, never mind, he's just as dumb as Link. Break the targets. This sucks. Match four, and oh my god, Kirby's gonna lose. There is no way Link has a higher IQ than the Mario Bros' collective IQ. The match starts, Kirby versus Mario and Link versus Luigi, and Link just runs straight through Luigi. Genius. Although I will say, the Mario Bros are the most formidable foe Kirby has faced so far. Maybe not. Definitely not. Match number five, the battle of the cute things that have totally never done anything wrong, ever. I don't know why, but this looks like if a Pokemon battle was rated T for teen. Kirby opens with a flurry of animal abuse against Pikachu. Oh, and it looks like Pikachu actually fights back with the weirdest animation I've ever seen. Pikachu responds with a downright shocking attack, and Kirby ends up ground pounding Pikachu. And oh my god, he ate him! Pikachu attempts to evade Kirby by killing himself. Bold strategy, let's see how that plays out for him. Match number six, Kirby, dumbass Link, and Yoshi against a big-ass f***ing monkey. Do you think that Yoshi will harbor any resentment against Kirby? Not if he knows what's good for him, my friend. Donkey Kong winds up a punch, and Link up A's him. Not once, not twice, but three whole times. Breaking news, Kirby just gets thrown off the stage and loses one stock, now being that much closer to everyone else. Despite Kirby's efforts, it appears as if Link is the primary fighter. And Link sacrifices himself in the name of defeating Donkey Kong. What a comeback. He's certainly learned from his prior matches where he sucked miserably. Board the platform. I swear, this is the only one that's worse than Break the Targets. How the hell did I get through there on my first try? Turns out this is so bad, Kirby decided to kill himself. <laughs> F*** you, game. Who are you to call me a failure? You're the one with shitty bonus stages. Match number seven, Kirby versus himself. Eight times, but yellow. Hey, I mean, good news. Maybe Kirby will go a little easier on them all, right? Right? Starting the match with a light amount of sparring, and oh my god, there's cannibalism. You heard it here first, folks. Kirby's are cannibals. Oh, and one Kirby gets blown off the stage by the Whispering Woods, and what's this? Kirby found another gun? What's it called when you commit a genocide against your own people? What's this? Two Kirbys have just entered into a firefight. Well, that went about as well as expected. It appears as if Kirby has run out of ammunition, meaning he has to go back to brawling. Pink Kirby goes for ground pounds, but it appears as if one of the yellow Kirbys has gone to full kamikaze mode. Oh, and this took out everyone on stage. What a show. Kirby may have won fewer stock than when he started with, but on the flip side, he has won this match because yellow Kirby is incompetent. Match number eight, Kirby versus a very attractive woman. Kirby opens the match by absolutely hammering Samus with his hands and feet, somehow getting through her heavy, thick armor. Oh, and Kirby absolutely nails Samus, while for the most part not even taking damage himself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a show to be seen. What's this? A hammer spawns in and he smacks her with the hammer and immediately causing Samus to die, making Kirby move on to the next round. Match number nine, Kirby versus Rock Hard Mario. Kirby opens with an up A and then tries to eat him and then spit him off the stage. Unfortunately for Kirby, this doesn't work because Metal Mario is too damn stubborn. 
However, he does keep walking around and mostly ignoring Kirby, except with the exception of the few punches he makes, which are devastating. Kirby eats and spits out Metal Mario repeatedly, trying to figure out if this is a proximity issue or not, only to find that it is not. Kirby finds an item on the ground. Thinking it'll be detrimental to Metal Mario, he throws it at him, only to find it's an invincibility star. What a blunder, what a blunder. Whoa, hang on a second. How did he grow there? <laughs> Kirby grabs another item, thinking it'll be detrimental to Metal Mario, who throws it at him. Discovering that it's now a superstar, he then quickly grabs it before Metal Mario can. Now he is invincible for a short period of time. Despite Metal Mario's attempts to avoid Kirby, Kirby aggressively goes after Metal Mario and forces him off the stage. Race to the finish. Oh, God. There's no way this one can be worse, right? Right? Oh, my God. This is so much worse. Match number 10, Kirby versus 30 of whatever the hell this blob thing is. Match opens with Kirby sidekicking one of the opponents. Finding that that was ineffective, he then up them, insta-killing them. Oh my, it appears that we are witnessing Kirby committing a third genocide. You heard it here first, folks. Kirby is a genocidal maniac. It appears that Kirby has found a red shell to use against his purple opponents. This red shell insta-killing every single one of them that touches it. And with the last of these purple freaks dead, we move on to... Match, match 11. 11. Kirby. Versus, versus Master Hand. Hand. This match is very different from the others because Master Hand does not have a certain amount of stocks. He only has a certain amount of HP. 300 for start. And Kirby is supposed to whittle it down to zero. Let's see if he can do it. First 15 seconds go by. Master Hand tries to punch Kirby. But he, Kirby already has Master Hand down by about 80 points. Although Master Hand drilling Kirby does not help one bit. Master Hand forms finger guns and shoots at Kirby. The ammunition used demonic looking bullet bills fortunately kirby is able to block all these finger bullets one minute and 15 seconds in kirby has already gotten master hand down to almost half health kirby shields to protect himself from master hand and oh what's this master hand pokes through kirby's shields and what's what's this master hand slaps kirby all the way off the stage out of bounds and dead and just before the finish line too how depressing how depressing i'm sure kirby will make another attempt as soon as he's resurrected from the dead tune in next week on friday at 8 p.m pacific for that.